upsets or near upsets in week zero, is that something that you can use as a talking point or tilting point for your team? Yeah, it's definitely something we've talked about. You know, I think, uh, you know, every game's a different game and, and uh, it's all about how you prepare and, you know, what your mindset is going into it, you know. And so I don't know why those things happened the way they did on Saturday, but credit to those teams that, you know, either, you know, press those teams to the edge or, or you know, in the case of, of George Tech, found a way to get it done. Justin, Matt, just what are your impressions of New Mexico after watching them? They look like they play hard. Obviously, um, I think definitely creative defensively, and and then offensively they've got some weapons, right? I think you know if I watch that game, as I watch that game, I think you know I feel like they're one catch away from it being over. You know what I mean? Um, so uh, I was really impressed on both sides of the ball. You know, I know Bronco's been a really good coach for a really long time, so the team they're going to be ready to play, and they have the advantage of having played a game, you know, where we haven't. So it's a little bit different. T Max status? Did you get two questions? I thought we said one question. I'm just kidding. Go ahead. T Max going to play. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> the triple question. And, sorry, I'm just messing with you. All right, what we got? Uh, Brent, for you personally, uh, seven months ago you were on this stage, you know, being introduced as Arizona's head coach. And I know you're a process guy, but being here in game week, how's it feel being real? Oh, that's right? awesome. It's awesome. It's funny. I, I had that thought walking out here just now, you know, just like how much has changed in seven months. Um, but I think it's, uh, it's, it's surreal, but it's also really, really special. And I'm excited, just like our players are. Jason and then Jenna. Now that you, the first game is by past, is, do you like the fact that you saw and have some film of New Mexico, or, or is it kind of a double-edged? No, I think it's a good thing. I, I definitely, th I think, I think for you know that that's how you would look at it, right? Like they had the benefit of actually playing a really tough four-quarter game, which I, there, I think there's benefits to that, and then we have the benefit of having some tape on them. So I'm sure they see it the same way. I would assume they do. Jenna and then David, what is your message to the team this week as they prepare for New Mexico, and what are your expectations for them? Uh, you know, my message to the team is, is it's all about us. It's about our process and how we prepare. It's very, very simple. It's boring and it's not sexy. And, but it's all about, you know, just the detail of our, our process and our preparation. I, you know, I think that part is, uh, I think that sometimes gets lost with the whatever, exposure, the media, friends, family, fans, all that stuff, you know. But um, it's, it's always that. It's about us and this football team and how we go about our business this week, preparing for this game, and then, you know, how we show up on Saturday. Um, and my expectations are for us to play well. And that will be my expectations every week. David and Brian. Brian, you mentioned last week the cold pool as being kind of one of the advantages that, that, that's nice about being a school like the University of Arizona. What are some of the other things that have been in place here that you look back and say, man, if we'd have had that at San Jose State, we'd love to have been having those types of events. Well, I think, I think, you know, everybody has contributed greatly to having this amazing facility here, you know, and, uh, you know, it wasn't until our last season that we actually, like, had that really nice football building. I think that has a chance to impact recruiting. It impacts your teaching environment, your learning environment. It impacts your recovery, your training room, your weight room, all those things, you know. So um, I think, you know, we're definitely fortunate to have what we have here, and, I, you know, I think the guys do a good job of respecting it. How much of your uh, like overall playbook do you think you're going to be able to use this first game, or do you want to save stuff for later on? All I want to do is win. And so whatever we need to call to find a way to play good football and give ourselves a chance to win is what I want to do. Mike, uh, two questions, just so you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Now it's a thing. Now it's a thing. The, the first one is, what, if anything, in your experience is unique or different about the season open? Everyone's different, you know what I mean? Um, I've, I've played in season openers where we were favored, where we were massive underdogs, where it was even. Um, I've played against teams that people thought we shouldn't beat. I've played against teams that people thought we should beat. They're all different. And the other one was, what, what stat or stats do you value the most that you feel like has the, have the biggest impact on winning or losing? 
Uh, I mean, I think there's a lot of, you know, especially now with all the information and data you get or you have access to, but I think the simplest ones would be turnover margin, third down, and red zone. It's just simple, you know, uh, places to start for that. Have you ever uh, been dumped in a dunk tank before? Oh, yeah. Yeah, plenty of times. I'm always up for that stuff. That was a, it was a cool, that was a really nice thing. I thought it was great to get all the student athletes together, to get them all together with all of our coaches and support staff and administration. It was a really well run event. Um, you know, the staff, everyone that put it together did a great job, and the dunk take was kind of fun. I mean, I was up there for a while, you know. I think whoever, somebody gassed, uh, our boss, Desiree, on the first pitch. Like, it was, you know, I, I got to watch people miss for, like, 20 throws. She got knocked in there in the first one. So it was great. It was, it was a cool environment, great to get all student athletes together. I think, uh, I, one, you know, kind of on your question, one of the really awesome things about University of Arizona is that our athletes eat breakfast together. And so to your question, like, we, did, we weren't able to do that at my previous institution. And, and I think there's real value in that because they do care about each other and they do support each other. And so then that way, when you have an event like you had yesterday, it's actually like meaningful. And a lot of players or a lot of the student athletes hadn't seen each other since summer. And so it was like, it was a great kind of, hey, the semester's starting, let's kick this thing off. It was really cool. Jennifer Jason. Is there something, a tradition or something about the game day atmosphere that you're most looking forward to about Saturday? Oh, that's a good question. Um, yeah, I, you know, I think, I think college football is the best sport in the country. Like, I think it's magical, and there's all the things that go into it, from the tailgating to the wildcat walk to the the band and the cheerleaders and the pom pom and the, you know, and the flag group. Like, like the students, the Zona Zoo, like all those things make it absolutely awesome. And I know there's lots of people that like watching games in the comfort of their home, but there's nothing like the smell of walking into a stadium on game day and what that feels like and feeling that energy and being a part of the experience. It's one of the most special things that happens across our country all Saturdays during the fall. Jason, thank you, Chuck. Uh, I also have two questions. But, uh, first off, uh, you've got to tinker a little bit with uh, communication. How do you feel about that going into the game? And have you decided what defensive player will, will have the headset and all that? Uh, yeah, well, it's still under consideration, I think. But uh, I think it's going to end up being Jacob Manu. Or, you know, and if he's not in, then I think it would be Gunner. Um, but that's not a surprise because everyone's going to know because they're going to have a green dot on the back of their helmet, right? So, um, but the communication's been good. Uh, we were able to practice it a bunch. I think the tablets are going to be a, a useful tool. For everybody, I'm um, just watching the games this weekend. You see how often uh, everybody is uh, utilizing it on the sideline. Um, you know, I think you know watching bits and pieces of the SMU game. Every time I saw Rhett, he had a tablet in front of him. He was holding a tablet and scrolling through. Um, you know, I think the big thing that everybody needs to remember is that no matter what happens in the game, you cannot show the tablet to an official. That's a big one. That's a bad one. So. Just want to make sure everybody on my staff knows that. Like, under no circumstances are we doing that. Uh, and then I had asked you this last week and just wanted to follow up. Have you decided what coaches will be in the box and what coaches will be on the field? With you? Yes. <laughs> uh, what kind of impact has uh, Brandon Sanders had on the program? <laughs> Brandon Sanders is great. I was on a Zoom with him last night with, you know, all the football letter winners that he does, you know, you know, every every three months, every every month. Um, and he, he's just trying to keep those guys informed and updated. Um, he's also, you know, just a great job with the kind of the high school relations and, and that part of it. You know, him having been a coach here in the state of Arizona, I think there's value in that. Also, the fact that he was such a great player here I, I just love the fact that we have so many guys around the program that, that played played here at the U of A. I, I think that's there's real value in that, um, in the, in their experience and, and their knowledge of the place, and having Brandon being kind of forward facing with our football alumni, and then also with the high school coaches. I think it's been really valuable for us. He's at, he's doing a great job. Last question is all. You know, obviously, there's a lot of top tier running backs in, in this conference, uh, and you. Been asked this multiple times before, but how do you feel about the defensive line going into the to game number one now? 
I, I, I think that's going to be one of the you know nice surprises of this football team. I think there's a lot of talent there. You know, we've got a good mix of you know some speed and, and some edge presence with some physicality interior, and so it's going to be a lot of fun to see see what that looks like when we start playing. All right, that's our time. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thanks.